Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and today I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to do a recipe for you out of my old cookbook that I discovered. Now you remember in the one video I showed you my old cookbook that I had since the 70s? This recipe is from 1988 and it says it's, it's a recipe I got off the can and it's called well, I called it a kid's casserole because when I had children living at home, this was one of their favorite dishes and they would always ask me to make it. But the real name of it that was on the can was called crunchy beans and wiener casserole. So that's what I'm going to be making today. And we've had a lot of cold weather, uh, snow, ice, sleet, freezing rain. It's raining out there right now. There's still ice on the ground and the ice is building up on the tree limbs and stuff. So I went yesterday and took care of all my bill paying and got supplies and running and stuff. I'm not getting out. So I didn't even get dressed. So I'm actually in my nightgown and that's why I'm not going to be on camera. But you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, the first thing is I want to tell you the ingredients that you need. One can of pork and beans and I'm using the Van Camp brand of pork and beans. And you need a half pound of wieners. But now what I always did was I just used a, a whole package of wieners. Because take out a half a pound, you got wieners left over. You know, what can you do with them? So I just went ahead and put them all in there when I made it. Uh, two tablespoons of molasses or honey. And I'm using honey. I have regular honey in here. And the same thing, two tablespoons of ketchup. This is Hunt's ketchup that I have in here. And then you'll need three, a one can, a three ounce can of the Durkee's French fried onion rings. And I had bought a big gigantic can of it, so I just measured out three ounces. Now it says that you're supposed to combine everything in a greased casserole dish, but I'm gonna combine everything in here. And I've greased the casserole dish and I'm just gonna pour it in there. because. My way of thinking is if you grease the pan and then you dump your ingredients in and stir it, you're stirring the grease in with the, the ingredients so it's not going to help anything to stick because you're mixing it in. So that's the reason I do it this way. And it says to combine your pork and beans. So we'll pour these in. Next, you add your hot dogs. And the hot dogs, I neglected to tell you what you can, you could see. They're supposed to be chopped up before you put them in there. Then you add your molasses or honey. And the reason I called this a kid's casserole was because my kids liked it so well that I wanted to make sure that I was able to find it again in my recipe book. So I just titled it the kid's casserole so that I, when I was looking at casserole rec recipes, I would know that that was the specific one that the kids were asking me to make. Then you add your ketchup. And mix this all together. And I think even though the recipe doesn't call for it, I think I'm going to add some chopped onions. I have these dried um, spice onions. I'm going to put a little bit of them in there just to give it a little bit, a little bit more of an extra kick. I 
And here's the pan that I'm going to be cooking it in. I know it's not a casserole pan, but it'll probably work. And it says you put everything in here and bake it uncovered at 350 for 30 minutes. Then at the end of 30 minutes, you bring it out and you'll top it with your turkey's onions, put it back in the oven and bake it another 30 minutes. So we're going to pour this all in here. I have a dog barking in the other room. I'll make sure I get all the wonderful hot dogs out of there. So for those of you that have children, this would be a perfect recipe. Grandkids would probably love it. Simple, a lot of pretty easy ingredients. Most people have this stuff in their home anyway. You know, in your pantry, you usually have pork and beans, and I keep uh, hot dogs in my freezer. So I'm going to put it in the oven now and bake it for 30 minutes, and then I'll come back and, and we'll top it with a turkey's uh, fried onion rings. Okay, y'all, here's what the first cooking looks like. Let me see if I can hold it up there a little bit closer for you to look at. You cook it for 30 minutes, it looks like this. And then it's time to sprinkle on the Durkee's fried onion rings. And I usually take my hand and go like this. That way I can put them all over it. Crunch them up really good. And then after you get your turkey fried onions on there, like this, you put it back in the oven and cook it for another 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, right back with the, the kids' casserole. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can look at it. Now one side of it, hot dogs got a little dark right here. But that's okay because I like black hot dogs. I like, when I barbecue hot dogs, I always say I like mine burnt. So that's going to be great for me. Now, I'm not going to taste test this because, number one, it's hot. And number two, I already know what it tastes like. It is very good. Like I say, those of you with kids, this is fantastic. Kids love it. And the third reason is because I'm probably going to take, like, most half of this to my neighbors next door and share with them. So that's the uh, crunchy Beans and winter casserole, better known in our family as the kids' casserole. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you guys for visiting, and y'all come back and see us any time. Bye for this one.